Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Thank you for returning to my channel. I have a light language transmission that I like to do. It was something that was inspired by somebody on my Facebook group. And it's, to, um, it's a transmission on how to find the courage to move forward, to follow your path. And I think, you know, like this is very natural um, for us to have fear in our day to day. And, you know, something that Dolores Cannon used to say is fear is for entertainment purposes only. And I, you know, I, I think that's very true. And the ones watching this who are awakened, uh, I know that you believe in this too. Uh, fear is to help us to learn, learn. Um, to me, it's not about learning per se, but it's more to experience. We're here to uh, experience things, and fear is a really great teacher in that sense. Uh, so, you know, I think a lot of us are going through um, thoughts of whether or not, you know, we should move forward on doing certain things. Like we might be inspired to go move, move forward. And, you know, maybe it's changing careers. Maybe it's moving to another country. Maybe it's buying that house. Maybe it's moving forward with that relationship. You know, who, who knows? It could be any of those things. And so I do think that, um, you know, it's, you know, this transmission is, my hope is that this transmission will help you to give you that inner strength, that courage to move forward, to, um, to follow what, you know, to follow the inspirations, because the inspirations are there for a reason. Our guides, our higher self are cheering us on and it's a matter of us moving forward and following it because once you follow your path, and I truly believe this because it's I feel like it's, hap it's happening with me, if you follow your passion, you follow the inspirations, then you'll be in flow. And you know, it, not everything will be in flow, but you'll see, you'll, it, I, I believe in my experience, there will be more flow in your life and you'll start seeing more and more synchronicities as you're on, you know, as you follow your path. So with that said, um, I would like to do the light language transmission. So uh, you can go ahead and close your eyes if you want to or have them open. It's, I, you know, whichever way you prefer. I personally, um, as a receiver of light language, if someone's speaking light language to me or if I'm looking at a written um, transmission, I prefer to have my eyes closed because then I can actually feel uh, more of a subtle energy that's coming through. So, you know, what, however you want to do it, if you, you know, whatever you're drawn to. So I won't, I won't ding you for, you know, having your eyes open because <laughs> uh, I did get feedback that, um, that she felt like she was working with me as she was watching me. All right. So I'm going to have you just settle into a comfortable place and I'm going to have my eyes closed for the moment. Um, and I want you to take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Another deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. I am bringing through a light language transmission for courage, courage to follow one's path to whomever is watching or listening to this transmission. Hare <laughs> 
So at the end of the transmission, you want to take a deep breath. Wow. So um, the angels came through <laughs> uh, with the singing. Um, wasn't expecting that. So I hope that you enjoyed that transmission. And go ahead and play this transmission whenever you know, you feel that you are inspired to and just sit with it and just kind of just sense what sensations you have and be open to the light codes. I mean, you were being open with the light codes when I was doing the transmission, but, you know, just keep furthering that, just allowing yourself to um, just be in the moment and to flow. Thank you so much. Namaste.